Dame Elizabeth Frink since 1982, before that simply Elizabeth Frink. Whatever the name, the work's unmistakable. Large bronzes, most of them designed for the open air and for close public scrutiny. They stand silently in many squares and parks in the South, the work of a woman described by the Times as Britain's most famous sculptress. She works from a studio attached to her country house in Dorset, surroundings that confirm Dame Elizabeth's financial as well as artistic success. It's here that she creates in plaster and chicken wire the works that will later be cast in everlasting bronze. An exhibition of 30 years of her work opens on Friday at the Royal Academy in London and it's a prospect she finds frightening to a degree. It's a lot of work getting it all together, of course, of which I've had help, but um, um, somebody's done the organising. But the whole, I mean, I, w I go from being quite excited about the idea to having nightmares about it and getting very gloomy. But if you had a choice, wouldn't you rather it was all out in the open air? I think, yes and no. I think sculpture should be outside. I think big pieces look good outside. And I think it's something, it's an experience for the public to come across a piece outside. You know, and it makes them more aware of other things. But equally, it looks very good inside. Inside situations can be marvellous. Uh, big, big and small sculptures, on tabletops or on... Well, that sounds ghastly, but just a small piece on a table by itself, on a low table, it looks wonderful sometimes. The sheer size and the medium in which you work bronze, don't, don't you think that that could perhaps put off students who may want to emulate that kind of work, but they just can't afford it? Well, I think uh, the whole new wave of young sculptors is, are working in other materials, which is very good. It is totally prohibitive for them to work in bronze when they start off, as it was for me, actually, although it was so much cheaper in those days. In spite of the work she's had to put into the coming exhibition, Dame Elizabeth has continued to work on her commissions. In this case, a collection of three sculptures commissioned for Dorchester, the county town of Dorset, and titled simply The Martyrs.